Now, while we are talking about a band that has been called in Andhra Pradesh by the TDP in Bengaluru in Karnataka, the transport unions have called for a band. Now, around 10 lakh private vehicles, including auto rickshaws, taxis, and school vans, are likely to stay off the road today. The transport minister has directed the authorities concerned to ensure proper public transport so that the band would not inconvenience the common person. Now, but why is this band been called? The transporters pointed out that the Shakti scheme, well, by the government, by the Congress government which provides free travel for women in non-luxury government-owned buses across the state resulted in a more than 40 percent decline in their daily revenue that's the concern now my colleague Pratibha is joining us from Bengaluru and uh, Pratibha tell us what the streets of Bengaluru look like today are there um, no taxis no auto rickshaws there and does this uh, bond extend beyond Bengaluru as well or is it limited here Well, right now it has been uh, restricted to Bengaluru right from uh, last midnight to uh, midnight of uh, Monday is when this month has been uh, called for and this has been called by Karnataka private uh, transport associations uh, but then the band will be restricted to Bengaluru there won't be any private drivers here who says that this bun uh, has been called only because this has uh, resulted in a loss for several of the private uh, transporters including auto drivers like him sir ee band yake neu kaldidira yen nashta aagtide nimge bedike ittidive yenandre auto daro iga rapid two wheeler la bidangilla adella maartta idare adukoskara adondo amale ee tax gulu ella jaasti ide sarkarinda auto daro yeno ivattu varigu yeno help aagilla adukoskara strike maartta idide nimge शक्ति that apart there are also these uh, bike taxis that are applying on the roads no proper tax system that has been arranged and uh, uh, some of the governments haven't really done anything right from the previous regime to the regime now uh, none of them have really taken into account the kind of grievances or the concerns that have been uh, put forth by private transporters these are the concerns that have been raised and mind you there have been at, at least around 30 demands that have been put forth in front of the government and all mm. of them have to be met by the government this is the demand that uh, they have put forth and we'll have to wait and see what kind of uh, uh, demands would be met by uh, the transport minister because he has been uh, holding series of meetings with all of them but we'll have to see if that would be seeing the light at the end of day.